All new at 6 o'clock, Marco Rubio visits the Kennedy Space Center to meet with the space industry officials discussing keeping rocket launches right here in Florida. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Bob Pryor. And I'm Kimberly Wiggins. And for Sunny, Fox 25's Daryl Nail is live at the Kennedy Space Center with more on what the senator had to say today. Daryl? And the senator spent the past 24 hours here at Patrick Air Force Base, both at the, also at the Kennedy Space Center and also visiting with officials at NASA. He called on the Air Force and NASA to cooperate more in order to make Florida more commercially competitive in the commercial space uh, area. I asked him about Florida losing out to Texas to launch a sizable chunk of SpaceX's commercial business. The Lone Star State offered $20 million in tax incentives, but also this was the key, unfettered access to a proposed launch site in Brownsville, Texas. CEO Elon Musk says he picked Texas because he wouldn't have to worry about missions being bumped by more important national defense launches that the Air Force puts up and by exploration missions by NASA. The senator then called on both the Air Force and NASA to work quicker to make the Space Coast more commercially friendly. I know that SpaceX is going to continue to have a very robust and growing presence in our state. And I fully anticipate that if we can continue to, to move on the track that we're on now, and we can get a little bit more cooperation from, uh, from NASA and the Air Force and all the parties involved, I think that not only will SpaceX's presence grow here, but other uh, commercial operators as well. The senator says he visited the Kennedy Space Center about two weeks ago with his kids, but he says coming here to visit today gave him a better understanding of the programs and where they're out, especially the Orion program. 